Hey what's up guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Xiaomi Wireless Bluetooth 4.1 Music Sport Earbuds. So that is the name of these earphones, I don't know why they're called earbuds since they're in ears, but that's what the name is and that's what I'm going to call them. And these are another pair of earphones that GearBest did send out to me for review, so thank you to GearBest, links to their website and to this product will be in the description below. So with that said, let's start this review. All right, so let's first start off with the build quality. So at the top, you have these pre-shaped silicone ear hooks, and then you have the cylinder-shaped battery, which lead to the earphones. And if you look closely at the earphone grills, it's made out of a fabric rather than metal. And altogether in these cylinders, you do have 80 milliamp hours of battery life, which will give you about five hours of music playback. And that's specified on the spec sheet, which is by the way, all in Chinese, just a heads up. I did have to use Google Translate in order to translate the spec sheet. Now this is an all plastic design, but even that these earphones are an all plastic design, they still do have a decent amount of weight to them. So moving on from there, let's talk about the wire. So the wire is a little bit on the thinner side. It's not that thick. I would have liked to have seen a thicker wire, especially since these are made for sports and there's a lot of wear and tear going on when you are active with your earphones. So a thicker wire would have definitely been better. Now moving down to the remote, you have the volume up and volume down button. And in the middle, you have the on off button, which also acts as a play pause button and call and hang up button. And on the side, you have a micro USB charging port. And in the back of the remote, you have a clip, which could clip onto your shirt, which is nice. It does reduce the ear wobble sound if you are running with these or if you plan on running with these. And of course, I did forget to mention the microphone, which I will be testing out a little bit later on in this video. Now, the remote does feel very nice in the hand. It has a rubber cover on it, which gives the buns a very tight, clicky feel to it, if you guys know what I mean. So otherwise, besides for these having a thin wire, I would say that the build quality is fairly decent. So now let's talk about the comfort and fit. So these fit and go around my ears with the pre-shaped silicone hooks and they stay on my ears as long as I'm not lying down in bed. But the problem is that they don't stay in my ears. So I'm thinking that maybe this is because my ears are a little bit on the larger side. To be honest though, I'm not really 100% sure since I do always have these issues with ear hooks in general. I'm just not a fan of the whole ear hook design thing. So again, these go around my ears, they stay on my ears, but they don't stay in my ears. So now let's move on to the sound quality. So first off, I just want to let you guys know that I am using a different pair of ear tips because the ear tips that these come with have a very small diameter and I like to use ear tips that have a larger diameter. I just feel like it gives better sound. So for this, I'm using my T8s or to be more precise, the ear tips from my T8s. And as always, I will highly recommend you guys use a good pair of ear tips, regardless of whichever earphones you plan on using. And when I say good pair, I mean a pair of ear tips that seal your ears properly. Now, if you guys don't have a good pair of ear tips, I'll link a few down below in the description, so check it out. So the sound quality on these is surprisingly pretty good. Now, when I say pretty good, I do mean that these have a nice sound stage to them and they are very clear sounding. Now, the mids and the lows are a little bit less pronounced than the highs. And I would say that the bass is average, maybe a little bit less than average, but the sound stage and the clarity really do make up for it. So thumbs up to that. So initially I was expecting to hear a very muddy sounding pair of earphones, but when I tested these out, I was really impressed by the clear sound that these produce. And now you guys are going to hear a microphone test with the microphone on these Xiaomi earphones. This is what the microphone sounds like on the Xiaomi wireless Bluetooth 4.1 music sport earbuds. So I'm recording this with the iPhone app, the voice memo iPhone app on my iPhone 6. So that was what the microphone sounded like. Now, to be honest, that didn't sound really good. That was actually pretty disappointing. I was expecting something a lot better than that. So now let me talk about pairing and some additional information that you guys might wanna know. So pairing is fairly simple. You just head on over to settings and within settings, you click on Bluetooth, make sure that that's turned on and you should see something that says something in Chinese and then mini right after it. So that's the one that you're going to be pairing to. So Bluetooth version is 4.1. It uses the CSR chip and it supports aptX technology. So charging time is two hours. Music playback time is five hours. 
standby time is 200 hours and you get about a distance of eight meters before you start getting some cutoffs. So for video playback, I used these for about three hours and I didn't notice any delay between the video and audio. So I do have to give a huge thumbs up to that. So something that I really did like about these earphones is the fact that I can lower the volume on my iPhone and I can also lower the volume on my remote. Now, the volume on the remote is independent of the volume on the iPhone. So essentially what that means is I can change the volume from the remote and it wouldn't affect the volume meter on the iPhone, if you guys know what I'm talking about. So technically I can change the volume to really high on the iPhone and then I can still add volume to that with a remote or I can really lower the volume on the iPhone and then I can still lower the volume on the actual pair of earphones. So these are definitely suitable for that dozing experience, which I don't find on a lot of budget Bluetooth earphones. Also, these earphones are rated as IPX4 water resistant, but now whether or not that works, only time will tell. So besides for the wire being a little bit too thin on these, I would say that overall, they're a good pair of Bluetooth earphones. Now, whether or not they're worth 30 bucks, that's really up to you to decide. So that's pretty much it for this review video. If you guys did enjoy watching it, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you do want to see more content like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. So for now, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip side.